everyone. This is Vinny Tonamella. Uh, I'm a former lead designer for McFarland Toys. I've done stuff for Toy Biz, uh, for Diamond Select, but uh, I'm also uh, the owner of my own company, Mellow Art World. Uh, I'm the artist and co-creator slash creator of these projects. So please stay tuned for after the video to check out um, how to get these. So today we're going to be covering uh, SW Toys uh, Mueller. Um, this is Jake Mueller based on uh, Wesker's son from the Resident Evil series. Um, he was actually uh, depicted in the sixth game. So here's Jake out of the box, straight up and down pose. Um, and yeah, uh, a lot of people, they didn't really like that game. Um... I was a fan of it. I had no problem with it at all. Um, I thought he was a really cool character in, in that uh, series. Uh, Hot Toys never made a figure of him. A lot of companies didn't, but this third-party company did. And uh, I found this guy for a steal uh, a while ago. I think I got him for about uh, 120 But um, yeah, um, overall, pretty good figure. So here's everything he comes with. Um, just a pistol, uh, again, uh, it's, <laughs> nothing pulls back on it, there's no additional parts, no, uh, magazine that comes out, uh, it's essentially just a nicely sculpted pistol, uh, that has, like, the, the laser scope attached in the front, um, and he comes with, uh, his sunglasses, which, uh, they are more tinted, it's just because the light is so bright in the light box, that it uh it looks very very transparent but um yeah there is like there is a pretty good tint to it and uh, yeah it fits on him quite nicely so overall not bad uh it comes with an apple um again this is like a throwback towards the end of the game there's like a an additional scene um but yeah it's not it's nothing special but uh it is nicely um painted i'll tell you that much and yeah this um it does go in his hand. But yeah, it, uh, it fell. But you get it you get it in there pretty snug. That's just how you uh how you rotate it. And yeah, that ain't going anywhere. So not too bad. Good contrast with the uh with the old black outfit. So that's kinda cool. And yeah, he comes with a slew of different hands. So uh yeah, uh, up to you what you want to do with them. The glove ones uh, feel very cheap, um, not not well sculpted, it's very, very plain um, paint application is maybe like one or two coats of black paint on top, nothing special at all. Uh, the hands are, are pretty nice, uh, these are actually like re-sculpted or reused, um, you know, um, but yeah, again, nothing spectacular here. Um, but yeah, not too bad, you could use them on other figures as well. So articulation wise, his head goes down a pretty good uh, amount, goes up about that much. He's got great side to side, but it's one of my favorite kind of uh, neck joints, that one you can kind of adjust up and down. So yeah, you're not going to have any problems with that. He has uh, the butterfly, you got rotation, goes up about that much because of the shirt. Um, yeah, ball joint goes out that, that far. There is no split by the bicep, and it's a single bend by the elbow. Uh, wrist is your standard kind of uh, peg. Uh, it is very tight, so there's a better look at it. You might need to warm that up. But yeah, I've had him in a pose for a while anyway. Um, the torso section, not too bad. He's got good crunch. He goes back a pretty good distance as well. Yeah, pretty pretty good range, side to side, ball joint. The legs are where the issues are, because the pants are so tight. Um, he's got very minimal movement in the upper thighs. Uh, he does have double hinge by the knee, um, and the boots suck as well. It's just your rotation, uh, your side to side, because it's, it's so high up. But um, again, nice work on the clothes. The tailoring's really good. Uh, if you have to, I'm sure you could get like military pants from 
from something else uh, on eBay if you want to get them in a good range of motion. But uh, overall, for what they have here, pretty damn nice. Uh, most of the articulation you get from the upper half anyway. Uh, but yeah, still not bad. Good, good scar as well. And here's going to be a series of different poses for the character. Uh, again, for someone who... Um, he is pretty limited from like the uh the the lower torso down. Uh you get him in some some pretty good like poses, uh, kind of action um stances with his guns and that kind of thing. So not too bad. Again, he only comes with one weapon. Um you're gonna see a shotgun in this video as well. That's from another figure. Um and the base as well, obviously. It, well, since it's from Resident Evil 6, I decided to use the Leon Kennedy um base form because he comes with no stand. And yes, this is the uh, shotgun I was telling you about. So that came from the Hot Toys uh, Leon figure from Resident Evil 6. That one was official. This piece is not. Uh, but again, for a figure that is third party, and he's not somebody we were going to see from any major company because uh, the game didn't do all that great. Well, it did well, but not to what Capcom uh, wanted. They thought the numbers were going to be even higher. Uh, but I still had a good, a good time with that game. Uh, if you're a fan of it, let me know as well. Here he is with Leon. Uh, so you get a, a good sense of scale. And yeah, uh, both of these characters, this is exactly what they look like in the game. Um, pretty cool. Well, Leon had, I think he had two different looks. Here's a, a better shot of them. Here he is with that really wicked uh, zombie dog. Uh, I did a review on that as well, along with the um, John Wick Pitbull. So you can take a look at that. It'll it'll be in the end caps of this video. Um, but yeah, uh, again, just really cool. Um, and I am a big fan of Resident Evil. I figured let me uh, do one more at least, so you guys get a, a pretty good, um, you know, pretty good review on a figure that not too many people covered. So yeah, I hope you uh, you guys enjoy this one a lot. But uh, yeah, overall, I I do like the figure. And another really cool shot with uh, another great figure. So you get another sense of scale here. I did a review on her as well. Um, she's like a custom, so like a custom kit, basically. It's two heads, the outfit, the weapons. Um, yeah, that was pretty cool. But yeah, the body I got elsewhere, uh, that's a Fison. So um, those are the ones with the, um, with the skeleton on the inside and the uh, silicone on the outside for the skin. But uh, yeah. Uh, again, I think these these pieces look fantastic together. Uh, I do have my, my little collection of Resident Evil. And uh, yeah, I dig them. So wrapping up. Uh, overall, pretty good figure. Limited in articulation. So um, you could correct that again if you get um, maybe another, uh, another body or pants for the figure. Because those are very tight on them. But other than that, yeah, I, I do like it. So, um, but yeah, stay tuned for the end of the video. Um, and check out my projects. Uh, right now I'm currently working on Shadow of the Kraken, which is an awesome pirate story. The links are going to be in the description, so you could support them. Once the project's complete, uh, I, I ship them out. But uh, yeah, the other books you see in, on the links, those ship immediately. So yeah, thank you everyone. Be kind to one another, but kick ass while you create. Hi, this is Vinny Tartamella, and uh, we have Through the Woods hardcover book written by Frankie Tartamella. Uh, all the artwork is done by me. It's a beautiful hardcover book. Take a look at this fantastic artwork. This is 98 pages, ghost story. Uh, I think everyone's gonna love this thing, it's amazing. And uh, yeah, we have another fantastic project here, City of Venus. I wrote this one, I did all the artwork on it. Uh, another fantastic project. Uh, I'm gonna be putting a link in the description to all the videos. And uh, yeah, so please check this one out. And uh, thank you very much. Both of these books are available right now and they ship immediately. So uh, yeah, take a look at the size difference as well. Uh, one's more in a European format and the other one's like a standard comic book. And uh, we also have two uh, beautiful art books here, volume one and two. Uh, these are 52 pages each. And it just has just a whole bunch of different stuff in here from uh, your favorite characters, uh, pinups, 
um yeah pretty much everything and the kitchen sink so uh, yeah these are also available and they're on the city of venus campaign